So after Jalen Benjamin dropped 16 points in the first half, four for four from three, Coach Bulls put a lot of emphasis on closing on those off-ball screens. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a shifty player. He's really good. I mean, he's a UAB transfer. You know, he's scored a lot of points. And, you know, he, the big thing we, is we couldn't relax. And we relaxed a couple times, and he just pulled up and shot it. A key emphasis Coach Bolden just closed was that every minute was as equally as important to one another, even in midst of foul trouble. Sure, we took CC out at the end of the second quarter. Um, but every minute is equally as important. At the end of the day, what it ultimately came down to was the missed serves for the Bobcats, a total of 13. I mean, we just gotta, we just gotta play better. We gotta pass. They, they definitely won the, the, the serve and pass game. Early on in the first period, after the Bobcats took a one nothing lead, the UC Davis Aggies took control of the game by increasing the momentum and awareness. The rest is the bus ride. We have a 10 hour bus ride tomorrow morning, leaving at six. So right now it's, about what you can do for your body. Ohio head coach Allie Johnstone and Jillian Shive say it's a beneficial experience for their squad to play up against a power five opponent like Michigan State. They're, you know, a very well structured team. They're very fast, they're very strong. So it just, you know, it makes us prepare at the speed that we need to play. Coach Johnstone emphasizes clearing up the little things as they move on to their matchup against Longwood on Saturday so they can carry on to the start of the MAC tournament. Fortunately, there's, you know, a couple defensive mistakes um, and to, to their credit they you know they took full advantage of, of um, a couple mistakes